congratulations on winning such a prestigious award. How are you feeling? I'm in shock. I really am. I, I can't remember every, anything I've said for the last 20 minutes. But um, oh, what an honour. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, I was thrilled to be nominated. I'm thrilled. Yeah. Well, don't worry. We won't keep you long. Just a few questions. <laughs> Writing requires address and challenging themes, creating authentic and diverse representations and engaging audiences emotionally. Can you share with us how you navigated these on Derry Girl? I think it's just, to be honest, like, truth you know what feels truthful to you as a writer and those girls I mean obviously it's tweaked and pushed and it, it, it's technical comedy but those girls very much represented the girls I grew up with and I didn't feel like I'd ever seen them on screen before and the minute I'd sort of written the show and the show went out lots of girls from all around the world not just from Northern Ireland were like oh my friends were like that they were silly they were the agents they were the ones in trouble they weren't just sort of the troubled pretty girls sitting in the corner so um, I think that 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 was that really it was just like finding the truth yeah. in the comedy if that makes sense yeah, makes complete sense how did you ensure that your writing resonated with the audience and had a lasting impact well, I didn't know it would, to be honest. I just, again, had to write something that, and this sounds so sort of simple, but write something I'd want to watch. And that was where I started, and that's always what I kind of try to do. I, I haven't seen something like this, but I'd love to watch it. And and then you just hope other people will tune it over. It doesn't always work out yeah. like that, but with this show, thankfully it does. Just gotta trust yourself. Yeah. <laughs> BAFTA recognises outstanding achievements in writing. Can you share with us your journey as a writer, including your influences, writing style and experiences? So I think I talked about it a bit tonight. I, um, or when I won, like I've watched a lot of TV. I, I loved um, Murder, She Wrote and Columbo. And um, I, I, I love those sort of 90s yeah. detective shows. I love 90s comedy. I also like where I come from. Theatre's a huge thing. There's a lot of playwrights where I come from. So I, I started actually writing plays and I, I knew I liked writing dialogue. And I knew I liked writing for actors. And it was just like, yeah, seizing the opportunity. I'm, I'm, I'm working hard, basically. And um, yeah, taking the chances. Yeah. Where it's incredibly hard work. Yeah. I think that's what people don't, it's a lot of fun too. I love it. It's the best job in the world, but you have to, you have to be prepared to, to really kind of knuckle down. I think it's what you want to do. Amazing. Writing often involves crafting complex characters, engaging storylines, and impact, impactful dialogue. Can you tell us about the inspirations and influences behind Derry Girl and how you approach the storytelling and character development to create a compelling comedy? I love a lot of American shows. Like I, it's set in the nineties. I grew up in the nineties, so stuff like. Friends, Frasier, Seinfeld. There was a show called Ellen. Ellen DeGeneres oh, yeah. is one that I loved. Um, all that, and then like Irish playwrights like Brian Frail, who was the first person when that I saw something performed the way we speak. You know, it was very colloquial, or the dialogue was like how I spoke. I never really, you know, as a teenager, I started learning about Brian Frail. I was like, oh, you can do that, and people around the world will understand it. So you're yeah, just like a, a combination of. Um, of tones and styles and different like even like thrillers and things and then yeah. the dairy gears they get into like a lot of trouble and a lot of like hijinks and it'll be maybe like influenced by a do you know like by a tarantino film or something and it's just, you take your influences from from everywhere yeah. and you just find your own way to to make it feel Boys. original yeah your own style yeah <laughs> final question <laughs> As a BAFTA award-winning writer, what advice do you have for aspiring writers who are looking to make their mark in the industry? I think lean into what's different about you. Like, don't try to be like anyone else. You know, there's there's all these sort of books and things that'll tell you the way you should be a screenwriter. And I think you should work out what stories you want to tell and how you want to tell them. And, and you know how you can tell them in the most exciting original way basically i also think you should just write write a lot watch a lot yeah stick to your instincts listen to yourself and um structure 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 always structure as the story so and it's really hard to crack but learn about structure if you can amazing well thank you so much for taking the time to answer some questions i hope you enjoy the rest of your night <laughs> thank